I don't know. Someone told me to send them the link. I said, sure. Yeah. Jay, you did that. Um, we're in economics. Yeah, yeah, Charlie. Yeah, are all about it. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, Jake. Good night. Oh, that was, I take it out there. It's like having another retreat. It's like All right. All right, I'm going to get into a good mood, though. I'm not going to get upset about it. Justin Crow, do some leadership? He's like not here. Then. Okay, yeah, we don't want him leaving anything. He's crazy. Is that it? It's better than last, the first one, right? Yeah. yeah. I think everyone did better. Not everyone. But All right. Ryan, can you hear me? Yeah. All right. Bennett said I don't even need like to pipe you in. You should just be able to hear me just normal. But anyhow, here we go. Who's got any of an alpha? What is? He has a broccoli. By the way. Don't feel bad. You need to look at it. See as a Caroline. See as a Dogwood. E as an Ellen. Oh, some Ellen love. F is I don't know. All right. All right. Let's look at this. All right. So here's the price, right? Four, and I said the price at five. At four, we sell 10. That's what they said. At five, here's quantity demanded. I put a number, it had to be less than 10 because it's the left of it. The $5 price line can supply here. So we supply. So if we're supplying, so demand would be right what customers are willing and able to buy, they're willing and able to buy five. Supply is how much producers are willing to sell, they'll sell 15. Okay, do we have a surplus or a shortage there? We have a surplus, right? We have 15 shirts and we only, people only wanna buy five of them. So it's a surplus. Now, Jake, since you seem like you have this, if I have more shirts and I have customers, what am I eventually going to do? More shirts and customers. Yeah. And I want to get rid of them, right? I, but no one's buying them at five dollars, Jake. You're going to drop the price, so the price is eventually going to come down to here. Okay. So the answer then for the drill is. A, right? Yeah. Okay. Any questions on it? We haven't went over it. Just wanted to see. 
if you use graphs, by the way, if you get good with graphs, you don't have to memorize a lot. Okay. I try to use the graphs because I'm not very smart. All right. Here we go. All right. Nicholas. You want a Cornell? Huh? Nice. Cold. Ithaca's beautiful. Have you been there? Yeah. It's beautiful. I really liked it. All right. Um, I had 8.7 out of whatever, 10. All right, here, there's a couple of things that are a little bothersome to me. Overall confused. Okay. I understand you could be overall confused. I understand that you could be so confused that you can't ask questions. Because you don't really even know what to ask. Here's what I don't understand. Why you don't come in. Why you're not going to get less confused the next day. You're going to get more confused because I'm going on. All right. So you need to meet with me. All right. I, I can't say enough. Like the price of the school is amazingly high. All right. You need to get all you can out of the school. And part of it is, yeah, you need to use me. Okay. All right. I also want to say this because a guidance counselor, and I love our guidance counselors, but they came up to me and said, a kid has come up to me and told me the class is too hard. They're going to never be able to pass. What's four two five nine again? What? What's four two five? Soccer. Soccer. Okay. I've never kicked a soccer ball in my life. If I tried my hardest not all day today, would I be as good as you? You suck. You think in one day I can get as good as you? Two days? Okay. My point being that even though you could be trying hard now, it might take time. And you got to just have the patience. If you work with me every week, once a cycle, it, you're going to get there. And then you're going to know how to learn. And then when you go to college, college is going to be easier. And that's to me the name to get. Okay. All right. Pr projects. You guys want more work? No. no. Said projects. Yeah. Why do you think they oh, said projects? They want to boost their grade. They want to boost their grade. Okay. Again, I'm not really about grades, even though I understand why you guys care about I want you to learn. Can I give you enough? crap to do so you can get 95 in the class and not know what the hell is going on yeah but then you're not going to learn how to learn okay and i'm amazed how many parents tell me you like i thought the parents oh my kid can't do this yeah or he's not a good test taker first of all i've been doing this for a real long time and that one person wasn't a good test taker and they were just like an anxiety that they had stress anxiety they couldn't I literally had to sit down next to them because they would shake so much on the test and like calm and break down. But besides that, it's not like they're not good test takers. We suck at making you good. You know why? Because we get stupid projects that let you get hundreds on them. So you have 95. So you go home and say, why should I study? I have a 95. I don't blame you. I don't study either. Okay. I want you to learn. I want you to know economics. And more importantly, I want you to know how to learn. That to me, at the end of the day, is the most important thing. Okay, so those are those two things. Please talk to me. Um, I'd love to tell you I'm a nice guy, but no one's ever said that about me, so I won't. But I'll get you better, and that that that's what we should be doing. All right, we're going to talk about the different. The easiest difference between demand and supply is demand's about consumers. Consumers willing and able to buy at that price. Supply is. Am I able to give you that product and make that product at that price? 
We'll do more practice today. Uh, when we're talking about production, yes, we're usually talking about all firms. Price only affects quantity supply and quantity demand. All right. It slides up and down the curve. <clears throat> Subsidies are government's incentives for businesses to make more profit. Like, so they might tell farmers, we'll give you a dollar for every bushel of corn. So that gives farmers an incentive to make more corn because the government's giving them a dollar, which is like cutting their course. Um, until we get to externalities, you could think subsidies shift supply to the right all the time. An example of resources, uh, if we're talking about corn, the resource would be seed, it'd be farmers, it would be people picking the corn, it would be the soil, all those are resources. From my shirt, it's cotton, it's workers, it's um, how to transport the shirts to the stores, all those would be resources. Any questions on any of these up here? We're good? We're good? Okay. All right. So tonight you should, I think you start reading, uh, uh, you finish off chapter 480 to 88. The notes are due tomorrow by 11.59 p.m. Just submit them on the Calvert Hall page. Uh, Wednesday, we start chapter 5, 93 to 98, 99 to 105, 106 to 114. Okay, if you notice, I, you know, we didn't do the quiz. You know, normally we would do a quiz on chapter 4. Just to give us a little more time to try to practice a little more supply and demand before you actually have the first one. Yes, sir. Okay. And by the way, not for anything, but the notes are like charity points. You know. But at least I feel like you're reading the chapter and maybe learning. All right. If you take out your note sheet from the last class, you'll have this low supply and demand. You know, if you don't have it, you could, um, you know, you just make a chart of it. But quickly, the time of demand is UDT. Uh, taste, and taste and preference and time. Uh, and market size, E. R. Uh, like this one? No. Oliver R. Uh, related goods. Related goods. Substitutes and continents. Okay. So we got taste of preferences, income, market size, expectations, related goods. All right. Rat nets. R. Resources. Resources. A. Oliver, top one. A. I got Nicholas. Top one. No. Bennett. A. Rat nets. My sparing this head because one before. Charles! Oh, where's Charles? There's no way he's in leadership. <laughs> what is that split schedule? That might be for that. Huh? Is that split schedule? Oh, that's right. I'll, I'll, I'll talk for Charles. Okay. I don't know. Hey! Alternative to that. Okay. Uh, T. Bennett, try to make a comeback. Technology N. But Nicholas, no. And uh, you need to shave again. Number of seven. Uh, next time I'm sending you the nurse, you're going to get to give it to me all five. Uh, number of cells. Number of cells. E. S. Substance. Yeah. T. Yeah. yeah. Rackness. Resources, alternative production, Ta technology, number of cells, education, subsidies, taxes. How come I know that you know? I've been doing. Okay. We really need to get those down. All right. So here's what we're going to do. Let's do um, one together. Remember, it's the hamburger market. Okay. So strange virus kills 20% of the cats. Could someone tell me what determinant that is? And ratness. Resources. Resources. All right, you seem to be on a roll. Is it going to increase or decrease supply? Decrease. Decrease. So the current's going to shift. All right, great job.
That's what I want you to do for the next five. Okay? Give you a couple of minutes. Ryan, you good? Okay. Yep. Yep. All right. I'm calling on you, so you got to do these five. All right. You guys don't need anyone need another minute? Everyone's good. Ryan, what do we have for number two? Yeah, you know, we have number two. Yeah, that's number two. Yeah, that's number two. Um, that one would be what's the shifter? Um no shifter. No shifter. Good job. I knew I could count on you. All right, no shifter. Change in quantity supply, right? Because it's yeah. price. Bradley, what's number three? Increase or decrease? Decrease. Okay, and supply shifts left. Okay. Any questions? No. We're good. Sure. Alex, you want to get number four? Technology increases to the right. Correct. Jay, number five. Uh, I'll Did you have a question? Would number four not be related goods? It's not new baking technology. Right. But it's not burgers, it's buns. What? Like it's like they're making buns. They're not making the same thing. Well, hamburgers is just beef and the bun, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. I guess. Okay. I, I, but I see why you were confused. Good thinking. All right. Where are we now? Five? Yeah. Oh, uh, would it be like? It will be. Like with some kind of alternatives. Subsidies. Rat nest. Subsidies. S is for subsidy. So it's going to be subsidies. Okay. Uh, increase. Increase and the curve shifts. Right. right. All right. From Jake to Jack. Is it no shifters here? All right. Wages for who? Wages for the um, buyers. Uh, workers. Yeah. Right? You work, you get a wage. All right. Do workers help make hamburgers? So they are then what in rat resources. resource. Okay. So it's a resource. Will it increase or decrease? Wages go up. So it increases. Supply is going to decrease because okay. you're making less money. So you're going to supply less. Okay. okay. Yes, sir. So the 
that go is different from when we use timer and awareness, but well that that that's the practice that we need. Timer, I mean you gotta think like is it taste in comorbid? I said no. And you gotta go through redness. You know what I mean? So timer means it. Timer means it's a demand shift. Radness means it's a supply shift. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. There's a reason also why we're not having inputs do so, so we can get more. But do you know what I mean? I can introduce something today, then we'll practice Tuesday and Wednesday. Right? So anytime income increases, supply will go. Through. No, no. Income is time and demand. Oh. Income is on up on now. Yeah. All right, there's a difference between wages and income. Wages are like what workers make. But say like, say wages went from 10 to $11 an hour and everyone here was employed and I fired half of them. What would happen to the income? It would go down. So if wages go up, that doesn't mean income. So when you hear wages, that's resources. And I think that's where you got confused there for a second. When you have income, that's time. Okay. Does that make sense? Okay. Right. Any other questions on these six? All right. Here we go now. We're going to put it together. Love and marriage. All right. You do not have to put all the numbers in your notes, but here we go. Demand, downward sloping. So, you know, you could just put like three and 30, P and Q. You don't really need all the numbers going across. Is this on the menu sheet? I thought it was. No? I was just putting the supply and demand together. Yeah. 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 Yeah, we're back to today. Sorry. Yes, sir. Are we not going to talk about equilibrium and the equilibrium? Yeah. Uh, yes, but not going to talk. Yes, we are going to talk. Uh, Why do you ask? Because those are the two things I would like on my sheet. Oh, we didn't get to that. Yeah. All right. Total Talking about equilibrium, here we are. When supply and demand intersect, we call that the equilibrium. Why? <coughs> because quantity demanded is 30 and quantity supplied is 30. So the equilibrium is when quantity supply equals quantity demand. Okay. And here it's at the $3 price. Now, a lot of times, if they don't give you a price, you'd be writing PE, price equilibrium, QE, quantity equilibrium. We go to 11, right? Okay. okay. All right. So now, here we go. This is kind of like the drill. This is disequilibrium. Anytime you're above or below the equilibrium, you're at a disequilibrium. Because quantity supplied and quantity demanded are not getting equal. All right. Now. I'm above. What is quantity supply equal? Yeah. yeah. Could you say it? No, quantity supply is 40, right? Okay. What's quantity demanded? Uh, 20. So it's quantity, it's not really dollars, okay? 
<coughs> All right. So if we're supplying 40 and people are demanding 20, how much is our surplus? 20. Okay. And again, what's going to happen in the long run to price? It's going to go down. Anytime you're above the equilibrium, you have a surplus. Do you have to memorize it? No, you could just look. Supply 40, demand 20. This is at $4 a disequilibrium because quantity supplied does not equal quantity demanded then. So when there's three X values, you can Sure. That's how you want to think about it, yeah. So it's like any point that's not where the intersection is. Correct. Uh, when you're in this equilibrium, will it always uh, in the future trend back to equilibrium? Unless government puts controls that prevent it. Yes. So you said any time above equilibrium is a surplus, so that we have any income that there is a shortage. I'm not sure, but let's look, okay? That's a good question. Excellent question. All right, here, what is quantity supply? At $2. Yeah. Uh, 20. 20, what is quantity demanded? 50. Okay, so we're sure at how many shirts? 30. 30, so yes, every time below, you're gonna have a shortage at this equilibrium. Now, if I only have 20 shirts and I know everyone wants to buy them, why well, sell them for two dollars? I'm gonna raise my price probably to get to three dollars. So here, and someone said it might have been Nicholas. Here, when we're below, there's always gonna be pressure to get back to the equilibrium and go up. Okay. Any questions? Good. Right. Just to make sure, I'll go again below at one. Oliver, how many shirts do people want here? Uh, and how many do we have? So we have a shortage, right? Okay. All right. Any questions on equilibrium, disequilibrium, shortage, surplus? Those are kind of the four concepts we hit so far. Everyone's good. Ryan, you good? Yep. Okay. Okay. And this is just what we've talked about, right? Like when there's a surplus, produces lower. When there's a shortage, produces rate. Okay. All right. All right, quick review. Talk to the person next to you. Go over these 10 concepts. I'll give you like two or three minutes. Go. Quantity supply is there anything up here that you can do for the I think the price of the is one million.
Okay. Anything up here you or your partner did not remember, don't know, want more clarification on? Everyone's good? Bennett, you good? I see you thinking, that's fine. Okay, so price doesn't shift the curve except when it's like all prices change? No, no. Price doesn't shift the curve unless it's for a substitute or a copy. Is a subsidy the government incentive to increase supplies? I just yes. And just so 99 out of 100 times, it's going to show supply right now. Anything else? Okay. All right, we're going to put them together now. Supply and demand. Three steps. All right, here we go. First step, draw supply and demand. All right, so that's what I did. First step, draw supply and demand graph, label equilibrium, I did P, Q, E. Price, quantity, supply, demand, okay? Okay, it's the car industry, okay? All right, so prices of cars are gonna increase in one month. How's that gonna impact consumers? Okay, so it's expectations. It's about consumers, so it's going to be which curve? You got it. Demand. All right. Is demand going to increase or decrease? If prices are going up in a month, what are consumers going to do now? All right. So we did. Did it affect supply or demand? Bennett said demand. He said um, expectations, and he said it would increase. All right, so I'm going to just draw my arrow. I'm going to go from D to D1. I got a new equilibrium, right? Where supply crosses demand. I'm going to put P1, Q1. Now, Kyle, did price increase or decrease after the shift? It did. So I'm going to put an arrow from PE to P1 to show price increases. Kyle, since you're doing well on that, what happened to um, quantity? Well, let's look. Here's QE. 
He has Q1. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to put an arrow there. So you increase it. Okay. Okay. The hardest thing at the beginning is going to be is it time or is it rat nest? And that's why you really have to get them down solid so you can make them. Any questions on it? Okay, let's try this. In a perfectly competitive market, which of the following shifts in supply and demand curves will definitely cause both the equilibrium price and the quantity to decrease? Okay. This is a tough one. So, we want both supply and we want both. Yes. Can you just grab this and like find it out easily? Yeah, but you almost have to grab them all. Yeah. So, like, let's do shift left curve. Okay. Does that do it? Price, do we want, what do we want both to decrease? So price increase there, right? So that, so A is gone. When demand also shifts to left, we know. Yeah, but I mean, once the price increases, well, yeah, we know it can. All right, so it can't be B either, right? Because it's, could have a price increase also, right? If we did C, shifts to the right. All right, if we shift supply to the right, we do get a price decrease, right? But what happens to quantity here? Increasing. So that's not right, right? What's D? No shift. No shift in supply, but a right would shift in demand, right? What's going to happen to price? Rise, right? We don't want that. So it must be E, but let's just graph E, C. What, what does he say? No shift in supply and a left would shift of demand. So here is price down, right? And here is quantity down. Okay. So D. Now, when you get more used to it, you're going to know pretty quickly, like which way it is. All right. Any questions on anything today? Nothing? All right, have a great day. Take care, Ryan. Thank you.